We're going to do an examination on this Norwich. First on our way in, we're going to look at the tonsils. You want to make sure the tonsils aren't really enlarged or irritated in this dog. They're a little bit out of the crypts, but they're normal. I want to make sure that the soft palate is about a centimeter around that distance. If you stretch it out, about um, maybe it would cover the epiglottis by about a centimeter. And in these dogs, that's a pretty normal distance. But this, you can see, is extremely spongiform tissue. This is the supraglottal area. And this used to be the area that we thought this edema was a factor. But we've seen this edema in dogs that absolutely have no issues with their saccules at all. But when you get down to the cartilage, now we're at the uh, thyroid cartilage and the cricoid cartilage area, and you open it, and there is one of the very large saccules on the dog's right-hand side. The left-hand side saccule is there also, and you can see that they occlude the vocal folds. When we do these dogs and we're doing surgery on the dog, we first go in and examine the saccules, and then we do a tracheal exam because there's some of these dogs that supposedly um, have tracheal collapse, but I do not see tracheal collapse in this dog. We see a really nice trachealis mother, a muscle, and a very normal tissue. And what I'm doing is, when I'm doing that, I will uh, manipulate the trachea to see if the trachea, trachea collapses while we're looking at it. So then we move back out, um, and in this case, I don't think the laser was through my scope, but I have a extension that I can put the laser through the scope. But we're going to take the laser at a very high um, level at a constant laser. We have a Luxar that has um, a laser that's a super pulse, um, but we don't use a super pulse, we just use it. And now you can see on the dog's left side, I don't see a saccule, but if you look on the right side, you'll watch it, it'll bug out of there when I bump it. And that's the piece of tissue that we want to remove. Uh, ventrally, there's a little bit of tissue on both sides that we're going to remove, but you can see how that's starting to creep back out around the vocal fold. We're usually pretty careful in these dogs not to hit the vocal folds when we use the laser, but that's what the good part about the laser is we can get in there, and I think this may show it here in a second. But we want to stimulate that so it sticks out so that we can attach it or attack it with the laser um, and vaporize it. And there, there it goes. And you can see how fast the uh, saccule disappears when you hit it with the laser. So this works really well. Eventually, we were going to take the ventral aspect of this out. We're doing it right now. Um, and then the throat's all clear and we're done.